Hi guys, welcome to this week's Bicep Curl Plumber Parts website video. Oh my god. Um, to be honest, this one's kind of brought up from the last video I did a couple of weeks ago when I was fitting that um, Rehow valve. Now, and also a few of you mentioned in the live stream that um, I need to get a new heat mat, okay? So I bought this heat mat and guess what happened? It caught fire. Uh, I don't know why, but I do listen to, to you guys and, and, your, um, and your advice. So I also changed the tip on my blowtorch as well. So I've got a smaller tip now here. So I'm just annoyed with these because not only should they not catch fire, but they should also not fall apart. And we all know what happens, they constantly fall apart. So even if with a little, little flame like that, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Don't burn that. <laughs> I mean, look, things on fire, not great is I've got some of this left over from when I did my bathroom. This is Hardy Backer cement board. I think this is the six mil one. And what I wanted to do was firstly, just chop a bit off or even just now, let's just pop it in the vise and see whether it can take heat. I mean, these I've actually used before to put in as the, uh, like the thermal protection backing when doing things like um, stoves, installing heating stoves and that. And when I say that, I mean um, wood burning stoves. A lot of the guys you'll see use this, even though it is a bit naughty, but it does do the trick. So let's just see what it's like, what she goes like. So it's going a certain colour. And also we'd have a bit of pipe in the way, wouldn't we? Bit of 15 mil. Yeah? This is what I was thinking. So, get the old toolbox out. About to give this girl a shout. Have we got a Stanley in here? Yeah, we do. Look at that. And it's going to be one we want to ruin as well. You guys have worked with uh, Hardy Backer before, but there's a way of sort of dealing with it if you want to cut it, because a lot of people will cut this with a grinder, which isn't great because you get the dust go everywhere and within seconds you'll sound like Jack Duckworth, you know, if you remember him. He had a bit of a throat on him. I think we're onto a winner here. So usually what you do if you're cutting this stuff, just run through there a couple of times and then break it off. Now a good chance for us as well to see how much kind of damage we've got on here. And that's looking pretty good to me at the moment. While I do that, if you like the t-shirt I'm wearing, there's loads of merchandise you can find in the Plumber Parts store by checking out the merch below where you're watching this video. So now we've got, I'd say it's like the sort of standard size you'd have. Does it clear a pipe that's coming out of a 15 mil clip, which are probably your shallowest clips. Will it clear that? Yes, it will. All right, well look, let's update it. I think we could do more of this now. How about we have it so... So what I do, cut this bit here. It's always like, it's, I'm so close to the vise, I'm scared I'm just gonna knack on my knuckles. Like that. Now, if you were gonna be doing a bit of corner, corner soldering, say under a floor, you could probably get that bit, lay that there, and say you've got the pipe going across here, like that, you could then sort of get this and manoeuvre that under there like that. And then that'd probably stop the heat going through. You could test it. Let's put something really flammable behind it, like a bit of, a bit of this. That there, and that there, yeah? And then, let's pretend we're doing a solder again. Really get it in there. Moment of truth. You ready, Harry, for the moment of truth? Here we go. Oh my God, look at the protection. Look at that. Nothing, mate, not burnt at all. See, some people I think would go, oh, you need two bits there, that's really annoying. Why don't we just chop up, get some of this hinge that I've got here. Because everyone's got a bit of hinge lying around in the shed. You've got it, haven't you? Otherwise, what's the point? Hey? 
that's exactly the right length for that. Have we solved, I mean, this is a worldwide plumber's problem. Have we solved that problem today? I don't have to wear this, mate, just to do one cut. Every man, woman, beast needs a pillar drill in their shed. Otherwise, it's not a shed. I'm going to get a wood lathe soon. I used to wood lathe all the time when I was a kid. Getting quite emotional, aren't you, Harry? You, you, well, this is discovery. Should have worn a mask, Harry. Someone will comment that. It's YouTube, mate. Can't get everything right, can you? The sooner you learn that in life, the better. Unless, of course, you're a woman. So there we go. I think that there would be a nice solution for a bit of, a bit of soldering. Right, if we're going to do a bit of soldering on something, especially under a floor, I think that worked really well under a floor because let's face it, usually under a floor, the pipes aren't going to be fully set into the corner because they're usually just floating somewhere or they're, you know, we know what people get up to under floors. So yeah, I think that worked really well actually. You could slip it down, couldn't you, and get it under there and then pop that there like that and it goes nicely back into here. And also, if I want a few different sizes, why not cut a few more strips up like this and just have them stacked in the box as well? I think I've got myself a nice little bit. And if you've got a pipe that's high up, guess what? You don't have to go to all the rigmarole of, you know, getting getting one of these and then trying to lean uh, lean something up against it to stop it falling down. Because that just stays up. You can also go around corners that way. What should we call it? We've got to give it a name, haven't we? I should paint it this idea, really. What do I call it? The, uh, just call it Big G. Honestly, that is going in the box. I mean, it doesn't mean I'm going to get rid of this. It just complements the whole, the whole thing. I'm going to somehow get all this back in here. But I've got to say, I'm quite pleased with that little hinge idea. That's a nice little shout, that is. So here ends today's Plumber Parts video. I hope you've enjoyed watching me create this, whatever it is, the big G. Um, if you want to get Hardy Backer, you can get it from most stores. Um, well, most sort of DIY stores and all those places. I'll put some piano hinge, even though this is for a hell of a piano, this hinge, um, on the Amazon store, so you can click on the link below to get that. If you want to buy any of the other tools that I've used in today's video, they're all there on the Amazon store as well. So thanks for watching, leave a comment below, and remember to hold tight. See you soon. Muchos gracias.